All right, guys, good afternoon. We're on the water this afternoon. We're doing a bit, little bit of product testing. I haven't swum them yet. Well, actually, I lied. We were getting some shots before, and we actually did catch a couple of fish. That was the first time I used it, though. So today, we're using the Western Hyper Tees. It's a five-inch plastic, Scandinavian design. So not much more to say. We're going to get out in the water, a bit of land base, target species flattered. So I have no problems gulping this one down. I really like this color, too. It's like a tomato. Yeah, bring it on. So let's get out there. Let's do it. Left all my stuff back there. Whoops. Whoop, we got a hit then. Right on the beach. Can't take it. Oh, yep, got ya. Ah, that was him. Oh. Hey, what do we have here? Is that a... No, uh, yes it is. Bring him up with this wave. Come on, mate. Uh, off we go. I saw a white flash for a second. I thought it may have been Taylor or something. All right, we got another floody. We got a little bit of this stuff here. Swinging around, so... Been looking at little patches. I've been trying to cast around it. I didn't have that one, but it's another worthy thing to look for. Finger in the gob. Ah. Ow. That hurt. Ah. Bloody thumb. Just where you want it. Just gotta pop him out. There you go. Hey, he's off. He just swam off on me. <laughs> Gonna have to catch another one to show you, I reckon. This tomato is doing well. Can't remember the name of the colour, but you'll know it when you see it. So, not bad. All right, we'll uh, keep fishing. Seems like the same thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basic technique, just getting a nice long cast out there and letting it hit the deck, looking at my line, so she's basically on the bottom now and there's nothing special to it. Just getting a few whips as I go up, wind that slack in and keep my eye on the line, looking for any movement and repeat the process. Just keep making sure you're watching that line. When it goes slack, you know you're on bottom and you just hop it along the bottom from there. That's the basic concept of all plastics fishing. Doesn't mean it's the concept, but it's a basic concept. Sort of rule of thumb. You always want to be hitting the deck. So, I've got that uh, B.7 gram jig head on, 7.5. I'm not worried too much with finesse with flathead. I just really want to hit the bottom real quick and keep that lure moving as quick as I possibly can. Cover as much ground as possible. Especially on a place like this, because we are fishing a flat. Depending on high and low tides, well, the flat's a completely different place. So while you're in that hot time, it's best to work that ground as quick as you possibly can, but at the same time, be as thorough as you can. So I have opted for the, the heavier head. You could realistically go a three gram head, really. But again, I just want to cover this water quick. Yep, got ya. Felt the tick just as it was sinking down. Beautiful. I think that was about four casts into it. We got a hit just before on the edge. Tried him for seconds, but he didn't want a bar of it. But just uh, found a cat cast out in a 45. Just bring it along the edge of the gutter there. And she came up trumps pretty damn quick. Ooh, beautiful. All right, flatty do. Yes, we have a flatty. Oh. Come here, mate. Oh! Come on. Up you go. Up you go. Almost lost ya. Come on. Nah, wrong way. Nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. All right, I got him, finally. Let's have a look at him. That came pretty quick. So yeah, that little tomato colour, this guy's swimming away from me. 
Probably got a high 40s, I'd say, this fish. It's a little bit uh, playing the game in the sand. Ow! Oh, there you have it. A little bit sandy, dog. There you go, she's probably about a 50. Straight out of that gutter, just by the beach. It's a very hot and cold place, most of the times they're off, but uh, if you do happen to get here when they're on, sometimes you get good fish like this, so. It's a good start. Western Tees has uh, seen we've done its trick, and as you can see, five inch lure. These buddy have no problem gulping them straight down. Oh, they'll take a lot bigger than that. So that's about it. We'll get him back in the water and get back to it. We've got a couple of hours yeah, left. That's how we do it, mate, here at We Click Fishing. All right, that uh, flathead was making a mess of my plastic, so I'm opting for a new colour anyway. Uh, it'd be good if I knew, I don't know. It's the headlight colour. I'm tipping that's got something to do with the headlight term. Anyway, it is a very mulletish looking colour around here, so there are plenty of mullet here. We've got a run of mullet coming through. So I need to get rid of the other plastic. Put her in the bin because the last couple of fuddies have made a mess of him. And I put on my headlight. And I've almost finished working that flat, so I might just work back along it and put something different in front of their faces. So always good to have a couple of colours to you. That's about it. We're gonna have to get going because we've got next to no light left and we've got a big thunderstorm rolling in now. So, that's pretty much it. Enough of the five inch plastic. Tomorrow we'll be on the water with Chris and he'll be using the three inch tees. So, we'll see how that goes. Until then, catch you tomorrow.